said we talked about him before, but Eric Bischoff. <laughs> I would have loved. I'd love to interview him, except he's got a worse memory than me. So uh, he probably doesn't get enough credit. I don't think. Mm. I think a lot of people just say, "Oh, well, he only had one good idea that he stole from Japan with the NWO," but it's not true. No, he had to deal with a lot of egos. He went out and got a lot of people. Yeah, fine. He had a lot of money to spend. But you know what? For those first few years before it got out of control in, I don't know, probably got out of control, Starcade 97. Yeah. And it was uh, great you know, TV, though. I didn't get it. I didn't get the whole Sting doesn't get pinned and then he does get pinned. I'll tell you what, right? And this is actually something else I've heard before, and it's true. WCW went down. The, the first thing where it just wasn't going to work was where Lex Luger won the title mid-1997, like August maybe, uh, from Hogan. And then he lost it the next week. It was the right time for him to be champion. He should have been champion for like a month or two. And then he wasn't. And that's so smacked of, there's too many people pulling the strings here. There's too many people with their own self-interest. But for Eric Bischoff, um, I think he's maybe a bit underappreciated, especially as a TV performer. He's underappreciated. That's for sure. That's for sure.